Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss what is syntax directed translation and I will explain the concept with few examples. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Syntax directed translation is a combination of context free grammar with the semantic rules. Okay. Now, already I hope you know what is a context-free grammar, a regular grammar, context-sensitive grammar, unrestricted grammar. If you don't know, I request you to go and watch the video in the TOC playlist about the Chomsky classification. There I have discussed about the various types of grammars in detail. So the context-free grammar, let me give an example, E determines E plus T or T, T determines T star F or F, F determines ID. Now this is the context free grammar. Let me define the semantic rules. Whenever I have a production E determines E plus D, I want to apply a rule called E dot value is equal to E dot value plus T dot value. This is the semantic rule I want to perform. Similarly, whenever there is a production called E determines D, I want to perform E dot value is equal to T dot value. This is the semantic rule I want to apply. Similarly, whenever T determines T star F production is there, I want to rule, write the rule as T dot value is equal to T dot value into F dot value. Similarly, I want to write t dot value is equal to f dot value and whenever f is determining id I want to write it as f dot value is equal to id are you able to understand it or not so this is the context free grammar and this is the semantic rules let me write the number for each rule this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 and 5 now let me take a string which can be parsed using this grammar which is i 2 plus 3 into some 5 i am giving the values also which is nothing but id plus id into id now how i will construct the parse tree i will start from the start symbol because i am doing the top down parser if it is a bottom up parser i would have taken 2 plus 3 into 5 and then i would have gone up to the top which is nothing but the start symbol now E determines E plus T and this corresponding rule I want to perform is rule number 1. Is it clear? Similarly E determines T and the corresponding rule I want to perform is 2. Is it clear? And T determines F and the corresponding rule I want to do is the rule number 4. Is it clear? And F is determining ID. So the corresponding rule I want to perform is rule number 5. Okay. Now from this T, I want to do the T star F. And the corresponding rule I want to perform is the rule number 3. Okay. Let me write with the circles. These circles are the rules. Okay. Now from this T, I want to go for the F. And the corresponding rule is the rule number 4. And from F, I want to go for the ID. The rule number is 5. So, F is determining the ID. I hope it is clear for you. Similarly, this F is determining the ID. And the corresponding semantic rule I want to perform is the rule number 5. Is it clear? So, what I have done, 2 plus 3 into 5. For this one, I want to perform the semantic so id value is 2 here and here it is 3 and it is the 5 here. This is the values I need to give. Now what is the rule number 5 is saying f dot value is equal to id. So you will get the 2 here. Similarly here you will get the 2 sorry here you will get 3 here you will get the 5. Is it clear? Now if you look at it t determines f so which is nothing but t dot value is equal to f dot value you will get the 2 here you will get the 3 here and already you got the 5 now if you look at it t multiplication f what is the rule you have given the semantic rule number 3 which is nothing but t dot value is equal to 
t dot value into f dot value which is nothing but 3 into 5 you are getting the 15 and now if you look at it e determines t is the production what is the semantic rule e dot value is equal to t dot value you will get 2 here now if you look at it e plus t what is the rule you need to perform rule number one which is nothing but e dot value is equal to e dot value plus t dot value you will get 17 here so this is the semantic directed translation for the given context free grammar and the semantic rules let me discuss another example for better understanding okay i am now what i am doing is that i am giving the rules as print of plus okay here i don't want to do anything okay here i want to print multiplication and here i don't want to do anything so this is the empty rule i am mentioning and here i want to print of id value okay these are the semantic rules i am giving okay so if e determines e plus t is there i want to do the print of plus so this is the rule number one e determines t is there i don't want to do anything similarly print of star is there this is my rule number three and this is the rule number four and this is the rule number five okay let can i explain with this example with this tree itself or should i construct the new tree let me construct the new tree so that you will avoid the confusion now let's take that the same thing i want to perform 2 plus 3 into 5 okay e determines e plus t okay now i will not write the rule i think you can understand the rule number is 1 okay from e you have to go t t you have to go f you have to go to id okay and this is t star f okay from f you need to go to id from f you need to go to id and 2 plus 3 into 5 you need to perform so this id value is 2 this is 3 this is the 5 now if you look at it f determines id what is the semantic rule it is saying print of id so you need to print the value 2 okay are you able to understand similarly if you do it you need to print the value as 3 here you need to print the value as 5 is it clear so you have printed the all the ids which is 2 3 5 okay now t determines f you no need to perform anything okay similarly t determines f you no need to perform anything and you have the f already you printed now if you look at it t star f next you need to perform this one am i right t star f what is the value you have to do you have to perform the multiplication meaning is that you need to print the value multiplication so you print it is it clear similarly e determines t you no need to perform anything and you have printed the value okay now if you look at it what is happening e plus t what is the semantic rule the semantic rule is print the plus so print the plus are you able to understand so what we have done is that from the infix notation to we have converted to the postfix notation so with these examples i hope you have understood what is syntax directed translation and these examples if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day